Welcome back, Mike Simon here. Last uh, part of the engine rebuild, we set the main bearings in place, torqued down the mains, and made sure there was no issues with the bearings. Uh, now we went ahead and set the crank in. Now I'm going to use this uh, plasti gauge so we can check our clearances on all the mains. All right, we have the plastic gauge down. Now we are going to set the main caps, tighten up all the uh, the bolts down to torque specifications of uh, 70 foot pounds of torque, and see what our clearances come out to. With the caps all torqued down, we are now going to go 
and remove the uh, main caps by loosening them up, which will allow us to see how far it compresses down the plastic gauge. Then we'll measure the width of it using the ruler that's included, and that will give us our clearances. Got all the main caps removed. Now we're gonna go and uh, measure each of the plastic gauges on each of the mains. Uh, if I remember correctly, all of them were uh, 0 .002. So that is uh, pretty good. Some people said it might be a little bit high oil pressure on the high side. Um, but for the application I'm using it for is uh, my first time rebuilding a small block Chevy engine or any engine in that fact. Um, I shouldn't have any issue with it. And I'm quite pretty happy of uh, how it's turned out so far. And um, hopefully I don't have any issues running down the road. We've removed the crank. Now I'm gonna go and set in place the rear main seal. Now this is a two piece, it's a four bolt main. It's a 72. Um, so what we have to make sure we're doing is offset these um, by three eighths of an inch on one side so that the seal isn't lining up with the block line. So you can, as you can see, I have uh, that seal is sticking up above the block and uh, they suggest doing that to prevent any leakage uh, in the long run.
now that I have my rear main seal set exactly where I want it, I'm going to put some uh, engine lube on the tops of the main bearings. Make sure they're uh, nice and lubed up. Sticky. Setting the crank back in place, then I'm going to proceed with putting engine lube assembly oil on the bottom main bearings on the caps and then put them in place and torque them down to specific specification specs 70 foot pound torque. I was quite pleased to uh, notice that I didn't have any drag or anything um, while putting on the main caps. As you've seen, I um, periodically spun the crank just a little bit to feel if there was any drag or retention on it. Um, and that would give me an idea as if uh, which main was actually causing the issue. As you see here um, in a moment, 
Um, it spins over quite easily. I was quite happy. Uh, no issues at all. Like I said, the clearance were uh, 0 0.002. And uh, some of my buddies said I might have an issue with a little bit of high oil pressure, but uh, it's not going to cause any problems. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys all for uh, following me on this uh, engine rebuild. Uh, it's been quite fun so far. Can't wait for the next step, which would be uh, setting my uh, piston rings on the new pistons and getting my connecting rods connected, uh, which I'm doing floating, by the way. And then after that, uh, hopefully this weekend, and get them uh, put in and connected to the crank and then go ahead and uh, get my camshaft in there. And uh, I still got a couple more parts to order, so I'm pretty excited about that. But again, I want to thank you guys all uh, for taking the time to watch this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my page. Have a great Friday.